Hello, we're back here to shoot another video to show you one of our coaches that we have just finished recently. This is a uh, 20 foot or 20 and a half foot Taylor coach, uh, 2012. This particular unit actually belongs to my son. Um, with a few tweaks in it that he was looking for him and his wife, so um, we thought we'd bring it, we'd show you all the, some of the features we put in him. Very similar to my own personal coach, because he decided to watch his dad a little bit, what he's doing and figures he's not got some bad ideas too, so he's decided to put them in some of his own. Uh, one of the things, some of the things I just wanted to show you on the outside, we got the stone guard open just to kind of show you how it's got the nice big picture window on the front with lots of visibility. With being a front dinette like this, it's nice when you get up in the morning on that, so when you're sitting having a coffee or tea or grabbing a bite of breakfast, it's nice to look out into the park to see what's going on in the park so you got some ideas of what you want to do with your day and you can sort of venture off from there and start a new day. We really love this about the big picture window in the front. And being this tinted too, it gives you the privacy so you don't have everybody kind of staring in at you sitting because it is all tinted and it's giving you the privacy. Still with all the great jacks all the way around on it for making it nice for leveling in that. You got a nice big awning on the side here. Your a &E on the side. He's also put his lights all the way around sort of doing something as dad does too where we've got lights for hitching, lights on the outside for lighting up the left side, the right side, and he's got his lights on the back for looking where his bike rack is also. Um, so let's bring you on in board here and we'll show you some of the features on the inside of the coach. Okay, now we've got you on board this particular coach. Um, this was our traditional 19 foot double bunk model that we've added. We've added a few inches to make our dinette a little bigger. Um, Nate has seen what I did with my own personal trailer, so he's decided that he wanted to sort of copy some of my ideas. Uh, we like to have a nice dinette when we're sitting up at the front here. Um, so this is a 48 inch dinette up at the front here with the overhead bunk area, so you've got lots of storage of blankets and pillows and extra storage up above, or for the kids. So if you want to have another couple in, or you want to even have you know, six of you sitting around the dinette up here. There's enough room to fit six of you, six people around the dinette, along with it also makes into a great bed if you want to take another couple camping with you. You also have the great little ledge still at the front for putting all your watches and glasses and things like that that we build up at the front of the coaches. But you can see the visibility out on the front of the coach here that we've got lots of visibility of the outside when you're sitting at the front, what I explained to you. We've also still moved the counter down a little bit, so it's giving you room for some shoes and that, but it still has a nice size counter in it. This particular trailer, um, Nate's put a, a few different colors in my own that we've come up with. A, we've got a new floor color, a little darker countertop, so we offer a couple floor colors to choose from and a couple of countertops to choose from, along with the different wood grains inside and that. But you can see it gives you a nice counter space here on the counter. He just chose to go with a two burner cooktop because he finds he doesn't want the oven and all those features in it. Still has got his microwave, nice two double sink with a high rise neck, um, lots of storage underneath. He still has his cutlery drawer for all the cutlery that he can take out to the picnic table. We've incorporated a few drawers for linens and different things, but lots of storage still below here. And on this one, we didn't do the slide out garbage can on it, but we did make a spot that he could put a couple small cans in here so the garbage can won't be out here on the floor sort of bouncing around. It will be tucked away so without making the trailer any bigger. Um, we've got the lights that we've incorporated for him and his wife for reading and stuff like that. So it makes it nice for reading and that if they want to do some reading at night. And we get the camera guy to slide around here a little bit so we can show some of the back of the coach. This is our coach at the back here. This particular coach is uh, 87 inches wide giving you an, an interior width of 84 inches. You've got the bunk up at the back here where my granddaughter can sleep up on the bunk here. When she gets a little bigger, she can sleep up on. And this particular bed pulls out into a uh, 54 by 84. And it's very easy to make into a bed by grabbing the, the front of it here. It slides right out. The cushions are all sewed together so we don't have any seams. It pushes right down. 
makes into a great comfortable bed. From there you can put a nice egg crate or anything you want on top if you want to soften the cushions a little bit, but makes into a nice easy bed. You can leave this to a bed all the time or you can put it back if you want it for it to entertain and have people in. It also leaves you storage underneath and our own when we're camping we put a couple laundry baskets underneath if you've got a few extra things for storage. This also makes a great storage area underneath the trailer. To put this back it just easily flips up slides back. He shows his wife has picked the upholstery. She went with a, lo a little different upholstery. has a little bit of pattern to it. And again, it's personal choice on what you want on upholstery and what you don't want. He's got his television belt right in. Something that we did a little different on his trailer, so we didn't make it any bigger from the size it is, is we left out the closet. So what we did, with the, instead of having a stationary closet, we put a, just a strictly a pantry in it. And and what he had found using the trailer in particular was that having a closet was what, you, what were you going to hang in the closet. Well, in, in their case, they changed the closet into strictly a pantry like my wife and my trailer is. And at the front of the trailer, we'll show you in a minute here, where we've just put coat hooks, where he's got basically nine coat hooks for hanging anything when he comes in. If he's got hoodies or jackets and that, and he's not got a closet space that he's not making utilization of as well as what it could be. So then it's all a food pantry. So they've got all the rest of the cupboards really for anything else they want to carry where it's not all their food being stored underneath or up above or underneath seats or in the vehicles. Like I've said in the past, it's all in one spot. Easy access to get up. Makes it really great and comfortable for camping. As well as even when you're buying groceries when you're out at the park, you're not looking to see what you've got and what you need. It's pretty easy to pick out what, you, what you're after. This also has the bigger fridge in it. So you can see where it's got uh, the 6.5 fridge in it, where you've got the light in it also for when you get up at the night and everything like that. It's easy to see what's in the fridge. You don't have to be looking to s turn a light on to bother anybody. You have the storage underneath the same. This is a ducted heat system in this particular trailer, where it's got a duct at the back, one underneath the fridge. We've got one up by the front uh, end of the counter, and we have one in the bathroom area also. Um, he's also sort of followed some of his dad, mom and dad's ideas that he has the bigger bath so when he has his daughter out with him or granddaughter there, he has it nice so it's easy for bath and that. He's got a nice tub. He's got room for his laundry and a garbage can. He's got a nice sized tub to, to bath his, his new daughter in. And he's still got all the overhead storage with storage underneath and that. Just like his mom and dad's trailer. Um, and he's got the hooks and everything where you can hang things when you're getting up and you want to hang your, your clothes when you go to shower. you got a spot for your towels and everything like that. And up at the front of the trailer here, if he gets his camera snuck around the corner here, I can just point it. We put our coat hooks up at the front here where he can hang all his coats and everything that he doesn't need to actually have a closet space in the trailer. So it kind of gives you an idea of what we've done leaving the closet out of it. Um, so that's some of his ideas and sort of my ideas watching what we've done with our trailers and that. So this is his new particular trailer. Again, this was a 19. We stretched it out by adding 8, 10 inches to it. Bringing with all the features that's on this particular trailer gives it a dry weight of 2,480 pounds sitting here. Um, Again, if you've got any questions on our trailers, uh, feel free to give us a shout. You can go to my website. It's taylorcoach.com to get our phone numbers, where we're located, and that. Uh, my name's Brad Taylor. Um, and again, if you've got any questions, we look forward to answering them for you. Feel free to give me a shout, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. Take care.